Hey, what's up guys? It's Matt and Dee with College Basketball Eye Test. I am 69% against the spread so far this year with my predictions. My blog is just, just strictly for fun. I'm just having a good time. If you're a hardcore gambler and you've been enjoying that 69%, then you could just take that to the bank. Just want to look ahead to some of my predictions for this weekend, for Saturday. As per usual, I'm going to pick five games. I'm going to tag it as Suspect Spreads Saturday and tweet it out. So I'm in midseason form. We're looking ahead to this weekend. We have a strong non-conference game, a rare non-conference game where UConn is traveling to Stanford. And UConn has been up and down. Rodney Purvis, the NC State transfer at shooting guard, this kid is a player, as you all know. He's an All-American, but the thing is that when he scores in single digits, UConn loses. When he scores double digits, they win. That pattern has alternated up and down, the last game being down and the loss against Tulsa. I'm gonna say that regardless of the spread, UConn goes and covers in Stanford. Looking ahead to some matchups out west, you don't have to convince me that Utah is a good team. In fact, I took them at 205 to 1 at the beginning of the year to win the entire championship. So I may be doing a little hedging later on this season. But when you look at it, they're playing at Arizona. Arizona hasn't played up to their potential. I think this is a game where instead of Utah being ranked 8th and Arizona being ranked 10th, I think that those rankings kind of normalize. Utah will not cover, and I think Arizona gets a big quality win here in this spot. You know, a guy I think who isn't talked about enough is Dustin Hogue at Iowa State. Iowa State with the mayor, Fred Hoiberg, playing very well. He's even dropping some moves in the commercial that you've seen gone viral, I'm sure. But KU goes up there to Iowa State this weekend on Saturday night. It's going to be the big college game day premiere for ESPN. I know that Cyclone Nation is going to be psyched. And as I just mentioned, Hogue is a guy that I think is very underrated. He scored 34 points in a loss against the national champion UConn last year in the tournament. And you know, that, that team just plays about six or seven deep, maybe eight. Dejon Jones, the UNLV transfer, is just another shooter that they have. Iowa State playing the pro set. I think that they win this game and that they cover regardless of the spread. Another one of my random thoughts from out west is in regards to San Diego State. You know, I think that this team has hit rock bottom since Dwayne Paul Lee collapsed earlier this season. Still no clear explanation on what happened there, but the team has struggled offensively even with him. I think that this weekend they're going to play against UNLV, another Mountain West opponent. San Diego State gets right this weekend and covers regardless against UNLV. I think that they flex their muscles as the team to beat in the Mountain West, although Wyoming, if you've read my blog, you already know that I'm convinced this team is a tournament team that can absolutely do some damage. BYU at St. Mary's, I think that BYU can play a little transition game. You know that they have the scorer, and I think that St. Mary's is just not as good of a team. I think St. Mary's actually doesn't make the tournament this year, and I'm going to say BYU covers. But I uh, just wanted to shoot a quick video out here and thank everybody for following College Basketball Eye Test on Twitter, following my blog on WordPress, Facebook, and uh, YouTube right here checking out this video. So I appreciate everybody who's been chatting hoops with me this year. College football is ending. The Super Bowl will be over pretty soon. So we're welcoming a whole new wave of college basketball fans mid-season here.